Good morning, good afternoon and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I like to include everybody and every time of the day because that's what I do. That's not intro by the way, so that, uh, no, that was shit. Okay, anyway, <laughs> task at hand. So yes, we have a package and probably by the title you can tell. I don't know why even know why I need to say that because obviously we read the title to actually launch the video. Um, so yes, this, I have a good idea that it is the guitar. It's come on the day that it was supposed to and I think we should just get it open. Uh, so yeah, and of course I haven't got my scissors. Right, got scissors in hand. Now I just have to, oh pardon me, tea's coming back on me. have to work out the best way to do it. I have a feeling, <clears throat> again, sorry, that uh, this is probably going to be the best flap to try and open. So we shall start this off. Uh, this is um, a guitar that I bought on eBay as kind of an impulse. Um, the packaging doesn't really fill me with confidence um, as it clanked a bit when I brought this upstairs. Hear that? I, I shudder to think how that's been done. I mean, the outside looks okay. Uh, oh god, another break. I can't do this with one hand. And without much effort at all, I got into it. Oh, oh hang on. That was upside down. Wait a minute. Oh, I, I cringe every time that makes a noise. Well, I stand corrected. It's actually unwrapped. I mean, not unwrapped. It is wrapped. It will be unwrapped. Um, okay, so what have we got here? We have one of these. Marlin. Uh, this particular brand of guitar is sort of quite close to me, I don't mean close as any, it's kind of like filled with fond memories but it, as in it's a British guitar and all will become clear in a moment uh, Marlin was a sort of a British guitar manufacturer, I say sort of because while it was Welsh um, the actual things were made in the Far East so is it Welsh? I don't know, probably not let's, let's try and get that out, ooh oh no, there we go it was just draped over the top, that is pretty terrible if I'm honest but the actual parts look all right, so let's have a look at this. That's actually looking better than it did online. Um, I think we should get this out of the box. I think the box is just cramping its style. If you think, if you kind of agree with me. Yep. Well, it's out. Excuse me, I straightened up my hand. All that foof was in the bottom of the box. I mean, what he was supposed to do with that, I don't know. But this thing has been. Not very well packed, if I'm completely honest, but whatever. I think the eBay feedback should be enough. But yes, it's a Marlin Sidewinder. It's one of those Strat copies that was, I think this could be 80s, could be early 90s. I'm not entirely sure. I always found these really interesting. There's something I like about the sort of the 80s Strat copies. They always looked a certain way. And I, I mean, check out that logo, man. Hang on, I'll turn it around. So it's just on my messy room. Oh, and I clanked it. Whoops. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that is the Marlin logo. Check it out. I really like that. I like the name as well. I'm wondering to myself if I'm actually more in love with the Marlin logo, and I clanked it again, than the actual guitar. I mean, these things are pretty cheap. They always were. And they were often really bad quality. But I love that. I just really like the artwork. Put that, put that in the box. Uh, so that's the body. I mean the color of this looks quite nice. It almost looks tinted. I mean I think it was probably gunmetal gray at some point But yeah, I also like the the pickups are put in these some of these had really odd pickup layouts I had the one that was slanted at the top for some reason. It was like a reverse strat layout. Heaven knows why they did that uh, They often had these little Little mini switches there yeah, but this thing is pretty nerfed at the moment. It's got uh, no tuners, as you, as you can probably see. And they're not in the box, definitely. Uh, no bridge, no caps or knobs of any kind. But it's all here. I mean, you even get the plate that goes under the neck plate. And you get the back plate, which I suppose is something, which has goop all over it. And other kind of poop, which I'll probably have to clean at some point. But yeah, it's not looking so bad. I mean that bit of damage here and this round there 
it's peppered with dents. Uh, some, in actual fact, I mean, it's got more in number of dents, but the severity looks better in person. I mean, so it's not as bad. I'm trying to say. Uh, let's turn it over. Really, that's survived well. I mean, it's got no buckle rash, but it's got it's got dents down the bottom end. Um, yeah, yeah. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, whoops, I think we'll just straighten this up a second. So when you pull the pick guard off, you can kind of see a line, I don't know if you can see it, where the paint maybe was slightly less yellow. It's picked up a sort of a goldy tint over the years. Um, but this looks like a, a really solid body. Sounds pretty good. The only thing I can actually notice right away is... What does that look like? Plywood. Of course it is. But hey, I'm not bitter. This is a good looking guitar. The, the seller on eBay actually was selling a black version of this, but it had all kinds of active electronics that I was just not going to bother with. It was a complete rat nest. Whereas if you look at this, this is much simpler. You've got your humbucker, you've got your switch, you've got a little switch that I presume just literally spritz, spritz, splits the coil out. Uh, that's pretty much it. That pickup looks boss. Ugh, did I actually say that? I did. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. So, yeah, just put that down on the guitar so I don't scratch it any further. Tremolo's two point as well, so at least that's actually going to be quite interesting to actually use that because I've never used a two point and supposedly they are generally a lot, a lot smoother than that. No neck screws as well. I'll have a search in the box for them, but I severely doubt that there's anything in there um, so yeah right I think I'll just uh, conclude this video because there's not really much more I can do right now so we'll get right on that okay technically I just got done filming this whole thing it's just an addendum before I slot in the whole kind of and well that's it for now folks join me in the next one kind of thing but I have kind of I'm realizing just as I, I finished that last segment the enormity of what I've got to do to this I mean this has it, it has been in the wars yes the body hasn't got as many dents as I thought but it's got like no screws for the body absolutely no bridge there's a screw for the pickup I mean these are more difficult because it's not like I can just buy a bridge like buying a bridge is quite easy to do but this has just got you know I'm gonna probably have to sort of scrounge a bolt from something else um, these pots actually feel pretty good they feel really smooth and the switch works but then I've also got to find not only that I've got to find neck plate screws which you can probably get them separately but it's better if you got them in a whole pack I might just buy a whole pack in order to get them it probably had a retainer nut there the string guides or something has to go there. there's a whole pack of tuners all of the pick guard screws are missing there you go. Uh, jack plate as well as jack plug needs to be replaced. Strap buttons. Um, there's a lot of shit has to be put into this guitar. Oh, not to mention as well, not just the bridge. Hang on, forgive me for this. The entire tremolo system. Look at this. You can actually... I'll just demonstrate this. If you look into there... You can see daylight through it. I can literally punch that out with my finger. Um, so it's not that I've just suddenly dawned on me like, Oh my god, this guitar shit. Well, technically it is. It was a cheap make in an era when knockoffs were kind of premium. But more to the more the point I'm trying to make is, is actually, I'm kind of thinking, was I high when I bought this? I'm sure I wasn't. But anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, as an extra bit, you might notice what I'm showing you here. I'll change the angle a little bit, hang on a second. Yeah, the nut has a chunk missing out of it. That bit in the middle was already depressed, and I was like poking at it slightly with my finger, and then a chunk fell out. This has obviously been battered around more than I thought, and I've got to, I've just realised I've got to find an Allen key that'll fit that truss rod. God, I don't even know if that works. Oh, I remember what Dave said. First rule of guitar, buying or something, make sure the truss rod works. If you don't, you've got a turkey. I sure hope I haven't got a turkey. I'm going to smack the guy with this if I have. 
You know, the flow of this video is probably going to be completely different because I keep looking at things and finding stuff that I'm like, I think I have bit enough more than I can chew here. Well, maybe not that. It's more than I thought it was. So, yeah. I mean, there's this, which... I don't know, is that a retainer bar? I've just got to look that up. I've maybe got to buy a Floyd retainer and maybe that'll do for it. And while I knew that this pick guard had problems, I mean, it's completely missing a bolt there, of course. And this one, while it has a bolt, there's no spring. Like, why? Why would you do that? It's a very random thing to sort of take out the guitar. Anyway. Ah, oh, jeez. And possibly we have maybe another problem that I just discovered. This middle pot, uh, get the get in the focus, Stephen. Come on. That one there doesn't appear to work. I've held the back and then tried to twirl it around, and it just doesn't move at all. Um, I won't replace it though. I'm going to blow some switch cleaner. That can probably borrow off my dad into that. See if that actually does anything. So yeah, granted, there is a lot of work to do, probably, so maybe I should skip to the uh, positive conclusion of the video and then just, you know, that I filmed earlier before I discovered more of this shit. But hey, it's a 22 fretter. Eh? <laughs> that's something, isn't it? So that's my purchase. It's my uh, fixer-upper Marlin uh, Sidewinder from the 80s, probably, and it's actually not bad. The finish problems, I can most likely just touch them up with a little bit of auto paint and there's probably some kind of colour that I can get right uh, and the pickup problem in as far, well not the pickup really the pick guard problem as it were as I meant to say isn't too much of an issue, I mean you can get knobs pretty cheaply but anyway um, this looks like it could be a fun little project I'm probably going to sell this after I actually build it up, I'll have some time with it and I'll sell it and you know start on the next adventure so and until then I mean I shall probably have to lay this one to rest for now because I have to buy the parts and then there will be videos on that so I could just buy them all in one go and fix it up and maybe demo it a bit so who knows anyway hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time a guitar from Wales who knew